Hey guys, here's a quick little walk around of a 22 Shodron. It's very similar to the 25 we had last year. And this one is a custom orange. Looks really cool. It's got a 300R and a C-Star bracket. Uh, the hardware is painted blue, so it's custom blue hardware everywhere. And some neat custom swim steps as well as uh, sea deck flooring and uh, sitting on a nice rocket trailer. So just took a quick peek. Uh, walk around and uh, unfortunately I won't be able to do like a comprehensive drone video test just because of timing and everything um, again it's really similar to the 22 so this is a six foot beam uh, exactly 22 feet overall the hull weighs about 2,000 pounds it's a twin step um, and it's a 24 degree dead rise this is a serious offshore compact boat uh, runs really well. These run really flat. They can just crush waves. Um, and you'll see the fit and finish is just really what stands out, like the the gel coat work. Um, all the interior is done in-house. Uh, we rig these at TNT Marine in Miami. And so, yeah, you'll, you'll see the, just on a bit of a road trip here, so it's pretty clean. I just wiped it down a while ago, but it boat looks fantastic. Yeah, so the engine turned out really cool. It's got a uh, matching orange panel, custom painted white. Interior is really cool. Nice soft touch marine material. This one is blue with orange stitching to match the boat and uh, kind of an off white. That's a Lavorsi wheel, matching gauges, foot throttle. This thing turned out really nice. You see, it's just, uh, just gorgeous. can seat three. The 25 is just, you know, got more room in the cockpit, but this is actually pretty adequate. You get some decent leg room there and it's a great package. You can run a, honestly, you could, you could run a 175 to 25 or 250 on this. We don't encourage the 300R. It's a lot of power for this boat. Um, this one has the front mount steering and uh, that's a Mercury heavy duty steering unit and uh, forget the part number but it's their top of the line unit and uh, uses a Sea Star Pro helm works really good Yeah, this is called pumpkin orange. It's like a, a Chrysler Mopar color. And it just came out beautiful. Like I said, the fit and finish is amazing on these. Just incredible gel coat work. This one has a really neat logo. We race what we build, which is their saying. Some custom swim steps and this uh, 300R, when you get the uh, conventional midsection, only comes in black. So this was custom painted in Miami. You can get an idea of the beam here. It's uh, like I said, six foot beam, pretty narrow. Yeah, good idea, but the, well, gives you an idea on the uh, leg room back here. It's really good. You sit three comfortably. So I'm just in the cockpit now and 
Yeah, I would love is just the how simple the layout is. You're just in an awesome seating position. And you're really in the boat. I really like so there's a lot of boats that you sit a bit too high on these smaller boats, and this one you're really in the cockpit. Um, so it feels really secure. Lots of room here for the passengers. You can see there's actually a lot of foot room. Got our vessel view right there, and then gauges right there. So it's is a, a serious setup. It looks awesome, though. You get this soft touch material here and uh, some storage on the sides there. Some somewhat finished storage under there. Um, yeah, this thing's great. Another really cool feature of the uh, DTS digital throttle and shift is you can um, just press a button right here and switch back and forth. So you can just use your hand throttle if you're cruising around or just going through a canal or something, you can just kind of use your hand throttle and then switch to your foot throttle when you want to. This one has a custom plaque signed by Aaron who makes the show drawings. That's a really cool color. This color just I wasn't sure it sure was like orange, I don't know, but then when you see in person, it's just, uh, it's pretty wild. Looks cool, and the blue really sets it off.